Hello guys. I know that this is like really terrible lighting. I'm just currently in the parking lot of the gym eating my pre-workout meal, AKA my lunch, even though it's 7 p.m. I use the avant-garde vegan high protein meal prep. I'm not really specific about high protein or anything. I just really like the meals that he makes. So I did modify it a tiny bit just because I effed up the day that I was meal prepping. There's like quinoa with basil, thyme, and Come on, Drew, you can remember that. Parsley, tofu, spinach, red cabbage. I didn't think I would like red cabbage just because I don't like coleslaw, but it's really good, I like it. Red pepper, chickpeas, some cherry tomatoes. I was gonna put avocado in this, but then I forgot, so I'm just a mess today. But anyways, that's what my meal is, and I'm halfway done, so it doesn't look as delicious, but it's scrumptious, I'm telling you. I'll have the link to the meal prepping video from Avant Garde in the description box below. Then I'm gonna head into the gym do some back-end biceps, and then go home and eat my dinner. Let's get our workout on, shall we? I just recorded the clip. Didn't hit record, so good start. <laughs> but I'm at the gym, I haven't really been kidding. Hopefully that'll go away as I'm doing all my exercises and stuff. But... It is now the end of the night. I have such a bad headache right now. I took an extra strength Advil, so hopefully that'll, or Tylenol, so hopefully that'll help. I'm just going to quickly do my bullet journal. See you tomorrow. Good morning. So I have to get up and get ready to go work. I'm on the way. transferred my coffee to my cup that I put it in because nothing else fits in my coffee maker to my travel mug and then I put uh, sick almond milk for coffee with hazelnut flavor. I don't really like this to be honest with you but I'm usually going for the bottles of can't think of what it's called. It's also hazelnut vanilla hazelnut. I'm not sure. I'll insert an image. Yeah I don't really like this. It doesn't taste very good to me be honest. I'm a second vlogging. Oh, I have. There we go. So I totally don't touch that. So I totally suck at vlogging, but it was kind of just like a work and then go home and watch TV with grandma kind of night. We currently have a rain warning. The basement 
tends to flood a little bit and it's currently flooding and it's supposed to still rain tomorrow too so but anyways um tomorrow is gonna be a good day we're gonna be going to the hospital and seeing my papa so that should be fun then i picked up a shift so that should be good hopefully it's a busy night but we shall see so i'm gonna say good night yeah see you tomorrow ciao <laughs> Morning, guys. Let's make some breakfast. <laughs> Why did I just turn on the kettle if I'm making coffee? Is it toast that you smell? Are you smelling burnt toast? No. Better not be. I just have the coffee going. Ground chia are an excellent source of omega-3, by the way. Ground chia, not regular chia. Regular chia is just fiber. Myself and a camera, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> because I've tried to make a weekly vlog and you will be a part of it grandma don't worry the other night like watch it work no buttons nothing nothing works so we're stuck hand washing for a little while hi cutie hi cutie oh look at you sitting in my car waiting until I have to go into work but I decided that I was going to because I have a thing in my bullet journal for tracking how often I meditate and so far this month I've meditated one time <laughs> I have my alarm set for 10 minutes and then I'm going to head into work once that's done so actually I'm gonna do seven minutes because I don't have time to do ten <laughs> Finished up work, obviously, and now I'm home and watched a little bit of Schitt's Creek with my grandma. So funny. I usually like to try and head to bed at 11 o'clock. Ideally, no electronics after 10, but I, like, often fail that. So, what I wanted to do before getting into bed was just fold 
my little pile of laundry here. Otherwise it's gonna sit in the basket until my next load instead of actually getting folded and putting away, getting it put away. So let's get folding, shall we? I do like the Marie Kondo sort of. It's like inspired by how she does it, but I have my own way of doing it. Anyways, let's get to it. Also, I'm not wearing pants. super bored of their clothes and I feel like I'm just over all of my clothes but I can't afford to buy new stuff. That's totally a first world problem. And this shirt, I'm not gonna show you the front of it because it was a place that we went, me and my friend went to where her cottage was. This was a kid's extra large, I'm pretty sure. And I went to this place probably in grade 11, which would have been in around uh, 2012, which is eight years ago, approximately. I've had this shirt for eight years and I still wear it all the time because I love it. I also totally get like the sentimental thing when it comes to clothes. My concert tees, pretty much all of those are sentimental ones. This is one of my new shirts. The future is vegan, love it. This one I bought from a local place. I can probably actually put that down in the link below if you guys are interested. This is another sweater that I just bought. When my pup is not in the hospital, on Sunday morning, I usually go to a pig vigil in the area. Is that blood? A pig vigil in the area. The next time I go to that, I will definitely be vlogging it. I find that I'm also just obsessed with wearing like anything that's like a working out outfit. Like that's why I always wear leggings. I have not worn jeans. I have no idea when the last time I wore jeans was. This cutie bear. Do a little snooze on the lap. Do like all my stickers. I'm just obviously very tired because it's like well past my bedtime because I try and go to sleep between 11 and 12. And it's 12.45. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Ciao. Whoa, it's really overexposed. <laughs> and my eyes look really pretty though, so. Today, I'm going to the hospital to hang out with my papa because he has to go for an appointment. Oh, excuse the hair. So he has an appointment to get his pacemaker check that he just got put in last week. After that, I'm going to be going to probably hang out with my friend. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. Yeah, that's it. So let's make some breakfast. As per usual, what else is new with my daily routine? <laughs> Hopefully the patient transfer won't take too much longer. Just figured I'd update you guys. Got all the papers read. I did a couple of of the puzzles, but I tried to do the Sudoku. Can't figure it out. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of my bullet journaling. Yeah, just patiently waiting here. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I am currently on my way home now. Everything is looking really good with the pacemaker. The patient transfer people were so friendly. Now I'm just driving home. I was supposed to get together with my friend for 3 o'clock and it's now 4.30 almost. So I'm just a little bit behind schedule. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet. I'm also not totally sure if I'm gonna vlog then either just because I'm a little bit, you know, like it's still kind of awkward to vlog in front of people that you know. Like I haven't even really vlogged in front of my grandma yet, just because, I don't know, it's kind of uncomfortable, you know? You're going too slow for me, fam. I will see you guys in a second, either way. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, 
So I'm just eating as much of my dinner as I can stuff into my face before, oh, you guys can see the glare, before my friend shows up. Um, so I've got, oh, shit, sure, she's here. Homemade chili, broccoli, nutritional yeast, and then sweet potato, it's really delicious. But she's here, so I gotta go, bye. So I'm hoping you'll stay up there. It keeps hitting the Wi-Fi button. Anyway, so I'm just on my way to the hospital right now. My papa is supposed to be getting moved to the rehabilitation place that's nearby here. So that's good. I'm just trying to get there before they move him or like, you know, before they start cleaning up his stuff just in case he left anything. And then I'm going to pick up my grandma and we're going to go to the place, get him all set up. All right, so I just, that's gonna be annoying, isn't it? So I just went to the hospital to go and just kind of hang out with my papa until he got transferred, but I walked in and he was being transferred. So I am just on my way back to the house to go pick up my grandma so we can go meet him there and get him all settled in. Okay, this is such a relief that this is finally happening and it, it just feels good to have him going finally going through rehab so that he can come back home after all of this. I haven't given much much context to this whole situation, but basically it was just the 29th of December. He essentially passed out while he was sitting in his chair. My grandma and I both thought he was having a stroke. So we brought him in and he's been at that specific hospital since the 29th. He got a pacemaker put in. He had it checked yesterday. We got told yesterday that he was gonna be moving to the rehabilitation hospital. The threat of a bad review forces a plumber to begin with his job. Well, yeah, but don't you ask me? I mean, somebody there for me right now? I have a recognition of you, right? Yeah, that would be a whole thing. So we just went to Subway and I was trying to order plant-based Beyond Meat meatball sub and I was gonna get the gluten-free bread they didn't have any gluten-free bread which was fine I would have just like ordered a bread that I could eat and then kind of suffered I was like is there any eggs or dairy she goes no but you can get the egg and bacon sandwich and I was like no I don't want any eggs or bacon or dairy or anything and she's like oh well it's just plain you can just get that and she just wasn't listening to what I was trying to say so it just got very frustrating but anyways say hi grandma <laughs> You're so cute, Grandma. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're so cute. Anyways, I'm gonna make oatmeal, so let's do that. try and put chocolate milk in my oatmeal sometimes just a little bit just to add some chocolatey flavor to it but I'm a little scared to do it and then I don't want to waste a meal so if anyone's ever tried that let me know I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to do some of my bullet journaling and then I have to meal prep tonight so I have to figure out some meals figure out my grocery list what I have here and what I need to buy so let's do that So I don't have a lot to bullet journal for this month just because I just got back into bullet journaling. I did like a really small layout, I guess you could say, but then February is a little bit more, more habits to track and everything. But if you guys are interested in what pages I do for bullet journaling or what I'm tracking or whatever, anything to do with bullet journaling, let a girl know. got my recipe all figured out. I'll put it in the description box below. My routine for getting everything figured out for meal prep because meal prep can be really overwhelming. But what I usually do, I'll find a video of like food that I really like and then I'll find, cause usually Avant Garde does like a video and then he posts the recipe and like shows you the, sh the shopping list that you need. So I just write down the entire shopping list and then I go through the house 
and I'll check like the cupboards, I'll check the fridge, mark off what I already have, and then I narrow it down to everything that I definitely don't have in the house but I do need for the recipe. And sometimes I will modify some things, like this one is calling for coconut sugar. It's only a tablespoon of coconut sugar, but we have brown sugar, so I'm just gonna say whatever and just do brown sugar instead. And then I'll go and I'll find as many empty jars as I need. I'm gonna go get the grocery shopping done, finish my oatmeal, because I got so zoned in that I didn't even touch my oatmeal, so I'm gonna finish my oatmeal. I will see you when I'm shopping. After the battery died, I just took a little bit of time to charge it and then get everything ready to start meal prepping. All that is nice and prepped, so it shouldn't take me too long to actually make all the meals, but I just really want to force myself to go to the gym. So I just got to the gym. I realized that I'm starving because I had the oatmeal at like four maybe, but it's eight o'clock now. So I've decided that I'm not going to do like a big workout. I was originally gonna do leg day, but now I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Plus I just don't have time because I still have to finish my meal prep. I didn't plan this well. I really didn't. And I'm really slow at meal prepping. I have a couple of bars luckily left in my car. Do I do cardio? I don't want to, but I probably should do it. And then just like practice. Did you hear my stomach just then? things in the pot too quickly. I'm used to like stressing the entire time. I'm like running around trying to cut stuff up just like so that it nothing burns or anything like that. But right now I'm just like, I feel like I'm just doing everything too quick. Like, let me show you. I hope I didn't mess it up. I'm just gonna keep stirring. I don't think he likes it. I love you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm finally done meal prepping. That took way longer than it should have. I made a mess of the kitchen and then got too overwhelmed and I forgot to vlog. So I apologize for that, but we'll get better at that. It's like 1230. Oh, and I have to do the garbage. It's been a long day, hasn't it? I think I'm just gonna do my bullet journal. I realized I forgot to give you a uh, proper adios, so adios. <laughs> oh, is that out of focus that whole time? Adios. Good morning, guys. I'm heading to the hospital with my grandma. I'm just getting my hair done really quick because it's a little crazy. Oh, I'll have to show you guys my finished meal prep later. I did have my breakfast already which was pretty good. I'm not like the biggest fan of it. My ASL class starts again tonight. I'm excited to practice signing again. You know all this part at the bottom here? I wanna shave all that just because it just serves no purpose. It just drives me nuts. Go. Are you gonna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Grandma, will you tell the vlog what you just told me? When I was in high school in grade eight, I was voted the cutest girl in the room. <laughs> and nothing's changed. She's still the cutest. <laughs> oh, is that a therapy dog? Yeah. Oh. He's so cute. Oh, 
All right, so we just got back from the hospital. Well, my grandma got back a little bit ago, but I just got back from getting the rest of my groceries for finishing up my meal prep. And then I'm finally done. And last night that I had a mango that was like completely brown, so I couldn't even add that to my meal. And then I realized I didn't have spinach because I had only frozen spinach. And then I just have to cook my broccoli and then everything's done, so. Let's get to it. I also got more of the creamer that I like. I thought it was hazelnut, the flavor of it, but it's not, it's just vanilla, but it's really good. I also got this chocolate milk. I was gonna get the silk almond chocolate milk because it's super good, but they didn't have any there. It looks good. It looks like it's almost like a little bit more watery. Ew. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, the pot might be a little small, but that's okay. All right guys, so I'm just getting ready to head to class. My friend is already on her way because we carpool there. So much frustration. So first my camera battery died. Then I burned, well not burned, but I overcooked the broccoli. So it was like super brown. Like it just wasn't good at all. But other than that, everything's all figured out. Can you hear that? It's like something is shaking in it, which I think is weird, but my grandma can't have mangoes because she's allergic, right grandma? What are you allergic to? Mango. Is that sad? <laughs> Morning guys. I know I didn't really end the vlog last night. I honestly wasn't feeling very well. I have like my IUD period right now, so I'm still experiencing like the symptoms of PMS. Oh, and my battery's gonna die. Great, and class was good, but I ended up eating one of my meal preps, like my lunch while I was in class, and I was like, I don't like this at all. But it's just a really big shame that all of that lunch, my lunch food has to go to waste. But I need to charge my battery, so I'm gonna charge my battery, and then I'm going to make my breakfast, make a coffee, put on some lip balm, because these are dry. I do have to work at three, and then it'll be work for the rest of the day. It's like, 1.40 right now. I have to be at work for 3 o'clock and then I work all night. There's not really going to be any time for me to vlog, I don't think. So I'm probably just going to end this week's vlog here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Grandma? What? Um, are you sitting? Am I sitting? Yeah. yeah oh, I was going to invite you to end the vlog with me. What do you want me to do? I said I was going to invite you to end the vlog with me, but you're sitting, so it's fine. I, I can't do it sitting? Okay, I'll come over, but just, you can't play the TV. <laughs> Alright, so see you next week. See you next week. Bye! Bye! <laughs>